So whenever we're looking at uh, making insecticide applications, we have to remember that we have two specific products that are very effective against the sugarcane aphid. There are other insecticides that we have only provide at the most 50% control. So we have to rely on those two insecticides that we have available. One of them is Transform, and we recommend the use of it at one and a half ounces. And the other one is Savanto, and we re recommend using five ounces to the acre. And the reason why we are recommending those, those rates is because we want to try to ensure up here on the high plains is that we get good control when you have good coverage. Coverage is a key in trying to get control with these particular products. So when you're using uh, a ground rig, we recommend using 15 gallons to the acre. And if you're going by air, we recommend that you get with your air locator and make sure that he puts it out at five gallons to the acre. Because we've seen situations where uh, applications at lower rates doesn't provide good control. So four ounce rate, let's say for Savanto, you could do that, right? If you had a good ground rig with plenty of volume of carrier and the right nozzles, you could use four ounces. And some people are getting good control, but there's a risk in that, in that the residual's not as long. And if your aphid population is more than it should have been, if you miss that threshold, you're starting out with a lot more aphids, then you probably don't want that four ounce rate. You need to go up to five because you need to have uh, relative certainty you're going to get control of that population. You can't let it escape. And that's the reason why I brought up about 2015. We had those situations when populations built up so fast and people didn't get out there and get good control. And when in those situations, four ounce rate did not provide good level of control. So the other thing that we need to think about is the plant density. As you increase your plant population, narrow row spacings, it's going to make it harder to get the chemical down in, into that canopy. So do everything you can to try to get good coverage. You might have to increase the, the spray rate as far as the pressure and also slow down your uh, ground rig so that you can get that chemical down in into that canopy. And, and or if it's really dense just don't expect to get control. You know since the aphids mm -hmm. start on the bottom of the plants and move up if you can't get that insecticide down at the bottom you won't get control. The, the beauty of the two dedicated aphid products Transform and Savanto is that they don't kill the beneficial insects. And preservation of beneficials is critical. We've seen time after time when people tank mix one of those products with one of the insecticides that kills beneficial insects, <clears throat> there's initial knockdown, but there's a vast quick resurgence of the aphids because we've removed all the biological control. So it's really important that that if you, whatever you do, don't kill the beneficial insects in the system. And in order to avoid that, we're back to using Transform or Savanto by themselves. So uh, when we're looking at the different insecticides, uh, we need to see how well those products work. And we've d conducted several studies in 2015 and 2016. And this slide that I'm showing here is one of the trials that we conducted in 2016. We did this at Bushland, and we looked at applications of Transform at one ounce and 1.25 ounces. And then we have two experimental products. Neither one of them are labeled for use for sugarcane aphid, and so I'm not going to talk too much about those. But then we have three different application rates of Savanto at four five and six ounces and so as you're looking at this uh, data set and looking at the number of aphids as they build up over time from pretreatment until 27 days afterwards what you see is transform provides a good level of control for about eight to ten days and then the product begins to break down and you continue to build up 
uh, heavy infestations. With Savanto, as you can see, all three rates provided excellent control and provided uh, control up to 27 days. You have to remember this is a small plot pet test and we were able to get very good level of control as far as coverage with, with these particular products. And one of the situations that we had is that uh, we had, because it's a small plot test, we can have reinfestation from wing formed of aphids back into our plots. And so we see that in the transform application because uh, we got reinfestations of the sugarcane aphids back in, into those particular plots. And when the chemical residual activity broke down, then the aphids built up really r rapidly. So we, we wouldn't expect, <clears throat> would we, to see this rebound in an entire field treated with transform? Probably not except under situations where we had really heavy area-wide infestations and we had a lot of movement of wing forms. So then when looking at the actual yield in these uh, particular plots, as you can see then on transform, and so there's a big difference in the, the level of yield. And so uh, that is because of the heavy infestations that we wound up getting in the transform plots in comparison to the Savanto. So therefore, spray coverage is very critical and that's the reason why we've mentioned before to uh, use five gallons per acre by air, 15 gallons per ground. Uh, don't use lower rates, especially if you're going by air. And then again, we feel like it need to be using transform at one and a half ounce and Savanto at five, five ounces. And then also, because of these are the only two products that we have, whenever you make uh, other applications or you using it from year to year, don't always use the same product because we don't want to have the resistant develop to one just one particular insecticide. The other thing to note in this control section is that as of 2017, uh, Savanto now has a chemigation label. And Blaine Reed did some work in 2015, that, and the results are presented here, that shows chemigation is highly effective. Uh, on the left is the untreated part of the field, and then he ran the pivot without insecticide, just water, uh, <clears throat> for part of the field, and it washed some aphids off. But as you can see on the far right, uh, Savanto at five ounces did a magnificent job of control. And, Part of this effect is, is coverage. The coverage through chemigation is superb. You turn the pads over and the water blows up and the plants get totally soaked. So chemigation is a very viable method to put out uh, Savanto in 2017 and Transform is not yet labeled for chemigation. It is, but you also have to remember that you've got to be able to calibrate your pivot system so that you're getting the right rate put out and over a particular period of time and that you can be able to get coverage across rows depending on what your spacing is uh, within that plant canopy.